The Houghton Department of Roads and Transport has launched a mobile licensing service truck that will be sent into secluded areas in a bid to increase access to facilities for learners' license testing and license disc renewals. Now, the launch took place in Refilwe Township in Tswani on Thursday, and so the Houghton MEC for Roads and Transport, Kidiboni Diale Tlabela, in attendance as well as other relevant stakeholders in the sector. Bye, Sudumelang. Good evening. My name is Tabo Molokwane. Welcome to this special edition of Sweater Today. Tonight, we take a look at the Provincial Department of Transport's latest innovation that seeks to bridge the barrier to access to a number of licensing services in our communities. Now, Houteng MEC for Roads and Transport, Kidibo Nidia Letlabela, launched the program this week. Let's take a look at what the MEC had to say about the campaign. Infrastructure air is for all of us. So it must help us go to schools, to high schools, like the HOD said, Chipatabani. This was my school when I was still in the municipality. I used to do the take a girl child to work program with them. I don't know in the department who knew that this was my school. It was close to my heart. So to high school learners to be I get lights or more how they're not a program when they pass me trick they must have at least a driver's license with them and we know that a driver's license opens the, some doors isn't it I know that there's a program yet yeah, smart licensing one of the things we want as requirement is a driver's license for you to get a job so a driver's license is quite important. But a driver's license hierarchy you go kone. Ibila hierarchy siwi. You go for test for it and you pay. And whenever we are moving fr away from cash. So start a little rich hack or marmutal but the langoki man if you are using somebody's cut. So that we avoid hunta chocho. Ruta got the license to six down. And Rona di Fista Rona ki bukai. Two hundred and twenty-eight. So le na le zaga. It's a fe. Le ra ori license le two hundred and twenty-eight. When over bata la six down. Fela kuru ubata ya ya chojo ya si follow the process. I know that the challenge has been long queues. Sometimes these officials, because they depend on that 6,000, they make you to fail. But we are saying, under the government of Banyazalusuf, you stop paying Jojo for license, save that money, do something with it, and follow the correct process, and it will not take you long. Including all our, some of our schools, especially schools of specialization, now Dinalidi driving schools. So it's going to come to all of you. So we are requesting you to not save money, your regular license, because you are contributing to road fatalities. So this is not going to be here forever. So we chose to come launch it here because on the community of Mitwedi in Kaufel is serviced by one traffic center. And this is meant to make sure that as and when there are more people coming from this area who have booked to do their learners test and, and you can organize yourselves, Banaki, uh, young women and young men who are doing metric. You organize yourselves, you book together, it will come to where you are. So that is bringing services to where you are. So you don't have to take a taxi and three, four taxis to get to meet rent. But then this service, when you are organized, when you are many and a sizable group, it will come and you do your learner's test. You also renew your, uh, your disc, including your licenses. So we really appreciate that you have allowed us as a community uh, here to come and launch this with yourselves. I hope that councillors also, Councillor Piri, will organize your communities, especially young people who want to write learner's tests so that they book together, after booking together, then the service come to them. So we'll go to even the West Rent, we'll go to even uh, Sibukeng, and everywhere else, even the churches, Lidistok Fela Sabumme, 
If we license because they want their freedom, you just organize them. When they are 100, I ah, were coming. Now, MEC Dialet Lavella also spoke on the previous year's innovation in the sector as well, speaking on the technologically advanced smart licensing centre in Artridgeville in the capital, in Pretoria. If you check how our testing centres were structured be previously, they will be far away in some uh, forests, uh, far away from people. For you to get there, you must take almost three, four taxis. And this is part uh, of the initiatives. We are establishing, we have what we call expansion of uh, services to the people, especially people in townships and informal settlements. So you, you have seen us in Atrechville, we also launched a smart licensing center. Uh, and that is in the, at the center of uh, Atrechville for people in that area to have access. I think they were moving from Atrechville to Centurion to get a service. Now they can get that service uh, smartly, within, faster and within their community. So this is part of our initiatives, using technology of course and reducing time, uh, service time that people get to spend in our government uh, facilities. Uh, according to those who have experienced uh, the mobile center, th this mobile center, they say uh, it took them 20 minutes to to get all the services. So what happens in the trucks? So you, you are able to write your learner's test in the truck, in your community, in your village, or in your township where you are coming from, as long as you have organized yourselves uh, in your numbers. So this center, this currently is only linked to Xavier Center. So when you apply or when you book for writing a learner's test, so they will see who it's about 100 people, for argument's sake, or 50 people who have booked for uh, to write a learner's in Refilo, for instance. Therefore, then it means we must release the mobile vehicle to go do that service in that community. But also we are wanting to be flexible as a government, be able to go to schools, be able to go to churches, places of entertainment, to be able to make sure that people are compliant with their licenses. You can also renew your license. You can also do your disc here. You can also write your learner's test, like I said. And it's a cashless service. Um, we are fighting uh, crime, we are fighting corruption, and also this is our uh, contribution to that. What we are asking from communities is to protect these facilities, because these are facilities that are prone to uh, criminals and to are asking them to assist us. We are also going to work with law enforcement agencies to make sure that they are well protected. So it's an in initiative also just to make sure that we deliver services faster, uh, easier uh, uh, and smart uh, within the community. I think uh, uh, we are now in the era of AI and we need to move with speed to ensure that we we, we adapt as a government. That's uh, Houting MEC for Roads and Transport, uh, Kiriboni Dialeta Belade, speaking on the recently launched uh, mobile licensing program this week. A very important project indeed for those that are aspiring to have uh, driver's licenses. Now we're going to take a quick air break. When we come back, we continue the special edition of Soweto Today. Do stay with us. Welcome back. You're still watching Soweto Today. Much appreciated for joining us. Uh, now, tonight in uh, this special edition of the show, we spotlight the recently launched campaign and innovation by the Houting Provincial Department of Roads and Transport. Now, the department has launched uh, mobile license centres uh, to ease the burden of community members who struggle to make it to their relevant centres. Now, we take a look at the launch that took place this week. Uh, looking at uh, what uh, Houting Roads and Transport Head of Department, that uh, Dr. Tulanim Dadani had to say on the department's stance on the innovation. Let's take a look. Lulusugul <laughs> Department of Transport. 
ebalilekile ukuthi bonke abantu abasha abasasesikoleni ema high school nabase ema university abangenawo ama license okushala izimoto nabafuna ukuthola usizo lolo ukuthi babe nama license le msebenzi yesu ubiza ukuthi mobile service uzofinyelela kubo uzohamba ye kubo bonke kuzo zonke izindawo emalokushini isema hostela isema taxi rank ila kujatshulwa khona kuphuzwa khona ngemigqibelo ngama weekend sizawufika siphethela ama trucks ethu sizoregister abantu ukuthi abathola ama license okunye abafuna ukuvuselela asekisidi ukuthi baye baye kuma queue sibeza uza lapha manje kuma truck ethu siwamemezela ukuthi ayakuphi ngokusebenza nama cancelers yezindawo ukuze sibekile ukuthi izindawo nangama weekend umc usaza umemezela ukuthi ngumgqibelo wamasonto abantu emasontweni bawathola ama services ukuthi abantu 7 days per week bawazithola ama services ethu ngomnyango wa transport kusho lokho ke emacity ke sisho ukuye letha ama services emphakathini yakithi egauteng njengamanje sila i refill ekhona i plan esibizwa ukuthi deployment plan la sizokhumbe ngoba asifuna uvele CNG ezindaweni sifuna ukuthi ikhansela lihlanganisa abantu noma umfundisi ahlanganisa amakholwa njalo njalo ukuthi ukuze kuze lapha abantu bebaningi khona bezokwazi ukuthi sisebenze abantu abaningi ngoke sizaza kumemezela lo hlelo silikhiphe ethu kuma social media ethu silikhiphe ko kuma website ethu silikhiphe futhi nakuma radio ukuze abantu bakwazi ukuthi nakhona la kwisocial tv sizoza sizomemezela ukuthi abantu uma services ke bazo bathola kanjani abalinde nje namhlanje uMEC ubeze ukulonda ukuthi abantu babone ukuthi kiyasetshenzwa manje akusadinga ukuthi wekho nibility oyakulona futhi uma kwenzeka ukuba ibility ihlambe limele noma liwile le truck izawufika noma le truck azofika aletha ama services kubantu njengamanje asiqaqasha abantu abaningi ngoba ama truck ima efike ezinsukwini zingeziningi kwase kufakwa le infrastructure phela enze ukuthi sibe ne office elihambayo i mobile office ngakho ke sizothenga ezinye izimoto sohleleni lwethu sithenga ezinye izimoto zibe ningi ukuze sibone ukuthi njengoba siyazi ukuthi i post office inezikinga nje yakithi South Africa kungenza ama i post office ngazo ukuletha ama services kubantu sithe njengomnyango sohamba elo zozindawo ezinjalo uma futhi ke uma sibala bebe benezinkinga yokuthi abawazi kunye ama services hlamba ngenxa ngezathu ezithile le ma truck azofinyela futhi nalezo zindawo ngakho sizo sizawa nama department officials i service oyithola emotweni ne service oyithola e office iyefana ngoba mubona vele lo ma officials asebenza ma office ini ethu azophinda aphume aye ngaphandle aye ngama aye ngama service njalo njalo nokubuka futhi asadinga ukuthi ubuke office impedence ifisa ukuthi ukwazi ukubuka nakwi phone Eh, ungaza ngifike ofisi ukuthi because ukuze ukuthi online service sibhekele lapho ukuthi sikhuqukule konke imisebenzi yethu ibe digital kanjalo kanjalo That's uh, Dr Tulani Mdadane there the HOD for the Houting Roads uh, Transport uh, Department uh, there uh, the Houting Roads and Transport Portfolio Committee was also in attendance and showed their support for the initiative and said that uh, they believe it will bring relief to the communities Here's committee chairperson Greg Skienman with more. I think this, uh, what we're seeing here today is extremely exciting because it takes forward the uh, commitments of uh, provincial government uh, through the Premier uh, that we really need to focus on bringing services closer to our communities, particularly townships, informal settlements and hostels, which is known as the TISH program. And uh, these trucks that, uh, that we're seeing here today are going to do that are going to enable uh, residents to get to their services without having to pay money, uh, without having to worry about transport, but they can get here uh, and wherever these trucks are to apply for their learner's license. In fact, they can do their tests here on the truck uh, to renew their, their motor vehicle license, make bookings for their driver's license. Uh, and I think all in all, uh, it just helps us to take those services to where people are instead of us saying people must come to the services. Well, I think obviously the dates, I'm sure the department will advertise the dates on where these trucks will be. Uh, I think that uh, people will be able to come on the day, but I'm sure those adverts will actually explain uh, what people should do before they arrive 
Um, but I've been able to witness a young man here today who came to apply for his, uh, tempor his temporary license. He'd lost it. And somebody called him and he came here and he was able to get his temporary license within 30 minutes instead of having to go and stand in a queue. But I think more importantly, as I said just now, uh, these trucks will go out to those communities who are not able to get to a, a licensing centre, who have to travel distances. And, and I think that is, that's what all this is about. This is what a, this is about. And we want to really applaud the initiative of the department to say well done, you know, uh, on what we're seeing here today. Well, I think one of the, the, there are a couple of things that we are concerned about. And that is the unscrupulous uh, operators who, who go and operate at uh, driver license testing centers and are helping people to get their licenses illegally and are charging them. Um, and we've been hearing that on uh, various radio stations, people have been calling in uh, and it's a concern to us and we want to get the message out to young people who are going to do their learner's license for the first time, do it properly, do it the correct way. People who want to get their driver's licenses, do it properly, do it the correct way. When you take shortcuts, those shortcuts will always backfire at the end of the day. And if you take shortcuts, you're not even going to know how to drive properly. Um, so that's our message to, to everybody. Let's abide by the rules. Let's abide by the rules of the road to motorists who travel on our roads. Can we ask motorists to please abide by the rules of the road? If the speed limit is 60, travel at 60. If the highway limit is at 120, travel at 120. And most importantly, if you're going out with your friends, please make sure you don't drink and drive. Rather take a, an other than a means of transport, but don't drive your vehicle if you're intoxicated. We're seeing too many accidents happening uh, on weekends, uh, and we really want to appeal to people, let's abide by the rules of the road, let's arrive safely. If you're driving somewhere, make sure you get there safely. Don't do something on the way that's going to endanger not only your life, but others' lives as well. So I guess that's the message we'd want to send out. Greg Skienman, uh, the Hunting Roads and Transport Portfolio Committee chairperson, there speaking more on the latest initiative launched by the Hauteng Provincial Department of Roads and Transport for licensing and highlighting the need for the safety of vehicles to be prioritised. Now we continue spotlighting the campaign and innovation after the ad break on this special edition of Soweto Today. Do stay with us. Welcome back. You're still watching Soweto Today. Much appreciated for joining us. My name is Tabo Mulukwani. We are approaching the end of the show and we've been spotlighting the Houteng Department of Roads and Transport's launch of the mobile licensing truck service. We've heard from the various stakeholders including Houteng MEC for Roads and Transport. That's Kili Bonidi Aletlabela, Houteng Roads and Transport Head of Department, Dr. Tulanim Dadani, as well as Houteng Roads and Transport Portfolio Committee Chairperson Greg Skienman. Now, as we wrap up, we take a look at the sentiments from one of the stakeholders, which is the South African National Taxi Council, Santaco, on the program and its impact in the sector. Uh, Abantu bagiti se libele be soko la uktola ma learners be soko la uktola ma driving license and also rule yetu uguti se bona guba nukblungi sa ubenza galai so that our people batola ama license are authentic so that ma be puma be yoshayela ma ya ya zmi teto yemeka logo guba lege kakul because we can see ama root fatalities that are within the province within the country ama number awake ayakupu so immediately muntu mageto le license whether ultengile or ulpiwe but by understanding our government, the next driver to understand that you don't drive your vehicle only, but you also drive in the other vehicles surrounding you, so that we, you make sure that oh, you make everyone safe. Once you can't commit a crime, you're saving lives. That is what is important. As an industry also, we are quite happy. It will help us as an industry. Ugutilama trucks as a guma guma taxi rankway to last is of sale labo driver. You may find out some of our drivers, Ababina Ma 
driver's license renewed quickly simply because but if these services to government is later than we it helps a lot so that our people will be legal on the roads so logo balege kakhulu ukuthina izimboni yamatekisi sila egauteng Santaco Houghton Chairperson Midday Mali also encouraged drivers and different taxi associations to come together and unite against bloodshed in the country. Well, as I go to Santaco, as I begin to go, I'm going to conflict, I'm going to zip, I'm going to make a conabandu. We have discovered to get some of the time we found out that in Tangano, in Niger, we operating license to operate a certain route. Any way is in Niger, we food. That is a source of conflict. But what we are doing, we are engaging with our government to make sure that Agubina are conflict in terms of the operating license that are issued to our operators. Secondly, Sinotelo Su Santa Cola Washokomela, Lasil Silon Shilogutti, Sinabandabazo check on a festive season and during the year and three three sixty-five a day, Labazo Habakon, Babesemizilin, Sipegi compliance, Kala Skalong check I motos it is roadworthy, check up a shall be to Bala Mapa Pelelog Shayel. Also, we making sure that we engage with our passengers, that is the communities. Some of the people they think the operators or in Tanga no yetu. If mela basha ile basha elubte tengu mukagwe. Asuk vumeli lo ngoba injela akse yamatege sikpela koto he ya bantu ba la mzansi. La basa bensa kona injela. Se funa gube no bizelo ano bupelele. Remember, Uma Sine in King and Jengen Bonia Mategis, Ila Sisiswa Kona, Paga to Gusa Tresa, some of them. Because Silla Sitola Kona is Singwa Situ Kona, Belung Bait. We need to respect them, we need to teach our driver be to a customer care. But we are doing that gradually. Up until Sifiga Gula Oma resolutions, Elu Hutaka 2020, Lassis of Formalizer Kona, Nabasha Elevate to Industry A to Ebe well formalized, so that Bagwas Noctola Malungelo Ab. You know, when we are a driver, was good. You are registered. You've got UIF. You've got what you have to get as the benefits. Uzo ala gemanzi si sinche ne si mo sogo i pata ngoba ufunugu ne sa logo zo tola uti. No mo pu menzi ni ushe kai uti sengi msebenzi ni ngopelele because they know that you have the benefits. Uzo watola use kona. No mangu nze ushona kuna ma benefits uzo zagwe umdeni wako. Amazon abashi ya gubasha yelo uti impi lo si sezanzi nza. Uma banga understand the logo ti maunge ne mkakui upete impilo sabanya bantu ne yangu ubalulegi logo ti we protect si kela logo ti njoko ba sisi asibuge ku festive season abasha elegashe ba si se balalele nesta elose government ye logo ti ifunugua chivani uke hulumen ofunugu sibo logo ti guesha ina ni labantu bali malai mkakui we need to do that obviously last year o government was supporting wa launcher i hashtag fatela we need to support that so that ne youth ye tu. He understand that we are going to move in. Fuse was good to finally go figure pila la we are called, so that we can protect the next driver who is in the vehicle. Obviously, very few days coming next week Saturday. This was a prayer day. It handles the LGBTV. It handles the lama conflicts la within the industry. It handles the lama drugs. So we are going around our taxi ranks because we have identified with some of the drugs. Zbewa tuz and lama rent. We are not going to mess on paga to agi tilo. It's not going to be legal. Once the right, let me tell you, there's no need to fix other provinces. Santaco Houghton Chairperson there, that's uh, Midday Mali, speaking more on the Houghton Department of Roads and Transport's latest mobile licensing innovation and the impact it will have in the sector. As we know that uh, the sector has had its fair share of problems in the past, the issues of compliance and, uh, you know, uh, taxi violence, amongst other issues. Uh, talking about the importance of, uh, you know, uh, taxi drivers also complying and making sure that, uh, you know, they ferry uh, consumers uh, to their various destinations very safe. The MEC also just uh, touched on the important aspect of uh, people making sure that they make use of uh, the resources uh, that they have uh, there and do not, uh, you know, pay uh, uh, sums of uh, as much as 6,000 rand uh, as they are offering services at various centres at around 230, 240 rands there. The issues of uh, corruption, which is on the cards, they're saying that they will nip it in the bud. On that note, that's how we wrap up today's episode of Soweto Today. Remember, we love hearing from you. So please feel free to talk to us about this episode. Uh, simply send us an email, 
It's over to today at over to TV dot Call us or what's about zero eight one five three one eight eight five seven. Bahay to Nagata Bomulukwani and the rest of the teammates. Good night from us and thank you for watching. Do stay tuned for the latest news update coming up up next with Pretty Gwenya. Bye bye.